Arnold Schwarzenegger's here at Kiss. Hello. Hi, Arnie. Look at you. <laughs> hello, hello. Are I you mean, ha- I love those mics. Look at this. Dude, I mean, sparkly. diamonds oh, on yeah. it. Oh, God, yeah. look at that yeah. ring. What's that? What is that ring? Well, That's unbelievable. That's a skull yeah. ring. You know who did it? Actually, an Australian fellow did that, uh, who is in the jewelry business. Uh, Anthony, name? Anthony, uh, what's his name? Uh, Triano, yeah. yeah. Oh, who's that uh, there? Is that your conscience yelling <laughs> yeah, out in the exactly, background? Yeah. I have, like, whenever I have a question, there's immediately a little voice telling me the answer. <laughs> Normally, you only know. you can hear that, but we can all hear that. Yeah, I know, I know. That's the idea. <laughs> uh, how's Sydney been treating you? I've been looking at you on Snapchat. You're, you're really active on that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, um, I like to take people on a trip, for instance, you know, they, yeah. so they understand what it is like to be on a promotional tour. Yeah. It's, it's funny the, the reactions that you get and the responses because the people just they're amazed at how many times you get the, the same question answered. Yes. Like when you go on a red carpet, they're like yesterday, I had my little camera stuck mm. in here yeah. and I filmed, you know, going through the red carpet and meeting all of the fans and, 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 and having them kind of listening to the interviews. And of course, when you do like that many interviews in a row, yeah. of course people have sometimes the same question. But I mean, they were amazed about that. Yeah. I didn't even think about so it. That's no. Insightful for the fans. And did you did you check out Vivid at all in Sydney? Vivid is like a light show at night on the harbour. Well, how can you miss it? Yeah. Did you I mean, like you know, that? You, you're right here. We do, look at the behind me is the the Sydney Opera House that's lit up like a Christmas tree. Yeah, it's, cool, it's, right? it's it's really fantastic. It's such a brilliant idea to do that because look how many people are walking around for hours out there and just enjoying all these lights and cells. It's They're all drug addicts, those people it. wandering around. Is that right? Oh, well, I would think assume yeah. quite a few of them would be. Oh, have you looked at them? Yeah, I mean, There's they were normal looking people. I did not see any drugs. Yeah, no, yeah. it depends what yeah. drugs you're on, I it's suppose. It's amazing how quickly you can detect it. You yeah. must be like a machine. The scans, drugs, coke. This is a brilliant, brilliant film. Um, there's some, I don't want to give anything away, but there's a scene in there where you're fighting your younger self. Yes. So good. Yeah, I didn't know. I you. thought I didn't know what had happened for a moment there. I was, but did you? Who, did you? Do you just love that when you're filming that? Obviously, there's no. Is there someone else there, or is that a, yeah, yeah, a yeah. CGI, I mean, uh, or what is no, it? There is, well, some of it is CGI, and uh, but I mean, you are fighting with uh, another guy that is a bodybuilding champion yeah. that had a really a, a great physique and very muscular and all this stuff. But then when you see the finished film. You see, then all of a sudden, your face is replaced, uh, and you, this, your face is on it, yes. and your head is on it, and then they have even you know changed a little bit of the body, so it's more exactly the way it was in 1984. Uh, but we did the throwing around and the fight scene and all of this like, for three good. days. It was wild. Yeah. And, you know, the key thing is is with those scenes, you give the people an inside kind of look of what it is like when two. 1,000 pound machines start attacking each other. Yeah. Because, you know, when you fall against a, a, a car, it's not like kind of like you're falling against a car. The no. car crashes, right? Exactly. Or when you fall against the wall, the wall caves in and yeah. it, it breaks through the wall. So it's there. Or every step that we make, the concrete on the ground starts breaking. So it's it's those kind of things that make it very entertaining. It's like what my girlfriend feels like when I'm bearing down on her during lovemaking at night. Oh. She's only quite thin, so you can yeah. imagine her horror. So how does she feel? Oh, well, we... We've made we've turned she, we've changed things up a bit so the fear of her dying isn't uh, there. So what you're you saying know, is for you sex I'm on is, the bottom. For you sex is a four letter word. Help. But anyway <laughs> <laughs> It is, it is. Now you you obviously probably won't remember, but I once drag raced you in Los Angeles. Do you, remember, you were in a Bentley convertible. Uh-huh. I waved and went Arnold, and you were like, "Hello!" Did you know that waved? Oh, yeah, and I so, thought, "Oh my God!" He so you said expected hello. me to see you over in the other car, <laughs> yeah, and then to remember your face exactly. and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's you amazing. Don't remember? <laughs> yeah, but you see, when I'm on the road, I'm not a machine. I'm just, I'm <laughs> You're just the Arnold. real man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was just after you were the governor, and I thought that was a great moment for you. That was excellent. Could you? Were you just waiting to get back into the films though? Because a very different career. No, I tell you, when you are governor. Uh, you're so consumed with being a public servant and to do the people's work that you don't even think about doing movies right. because I was so busy. Yeah. You know, when you when you run a state that is like kind of like the sixth largest economy in the world, you have your hands full yes. from morning to night. And it was great to switch and to do something different. But then when I was finished with that, I was so delighted to start doing movies again. Yeah. You know, it's it, but that's what's so great about my life is is that I have all this. You know, one uh, for, for ten years I'm like a. a uh, an athlete and I'm competing in bodybuilding and in weightlifting and powerlifting and all those things and then I get into the movie business then I work my way up to become a leading man and, I and then I step over to politics and then yes. around the state of California which I was mean, your favorite then? 
I don't think there's a favorite. I think uh, the biggest responsibility yep. that I had was as governor. Yeah, because, you know, you're really dealing with people's lives mm -hmm. and your responsibility in government always is to make people's lives better yep. and to protect people's health and, uh, and protect people in general. So, you know, you take this much more seriously, the whole thing. A lot of people but were amazed. I, had, I was passionate about all three of those right. things. Right. People yeah. were amazed, I think, when you said, I'm going to do politics. Right. And then and, you did it. And then you did it. Mm. You did it very well. And then you came back and you right. must have thought, sick of serving the people. It's about time people started serving me again. <laughs> and here <laughs> you are funny. back on the movies. Well, it's and, always a two-way street. It is. It's it funny is. to get served and it's funny to be a servant. But I tell you, in all seriousness, there's nothing like giving something back to your state or to your country. Yeah. And I think that everyone has the responsibility to do that in one way or the other. We all have to go and do everything we can to make this a better world than we inherited it. True. That's what it's all about. Do you have one more thing that you'd like to tick off? Like you've obviously achieved the politics, the movie stardom, you know, being an well, athlete. I, I now like to create a synergy where I put all those things together, where I promote health and fitness, where I'm on a fitness okay. crusade. I'm promoting, you know, good environment, a clean environment, renewable energy, a green energy future. Uh, and I'm into, uh, you know, doing movies and entertaining people. So I'm involved in all of those things and try to kind of Pull all of those things together. God, that's it. Well, good luck. Yeah, the thank movie's you. brilliant, fantastic. <clears throat> uh, congratulations on everything. We love your Snapchat in particular. Snapchat's going off. I'm glad he's on Snapchat because I right. was I was like you. I was a late comer to Snapchat. Right, right. Uh, well, so I'm, I'm still – there's new technology coming out all the time, so you just have to have someone around it that kind of okay. uh, keeps you up to date. Excellent. Well, Arnold, yeah. thanks, Jim. Nice to see you, mate. Thank thanks, you. Good Arnold. to see you both. Thanks for joining us. Terminator Genesis, yeah. everyone. Go and see it. This